I wouldn't come to you and say and just talk about it. I know for 100% sure that there's fraud at Trintop. I've seen it took place. When Trintop called in the fraud squad last month, it was to investigate suspected fraud running into millions of dollars. Official sources say up to $9 million was embezzled from the purchasing department. The OWTU says the figure stands at over $40 million. Whatever the true figure, this Trintock worker claims to have full knowledge of the fraud. A junior employee at Trintock, Mr. X, emerges as the chief protagonist. He's the kingpin behind it, but he's not the only person involved in the fraud. The other companies, the other companies, the, the, two major oil companies that supply to Interpol, they also have been involved in the fraud. Here's what he says happened. Orders for thousands of dollars were made out in forms. The white copy went to the suppliers, the pink to invoicing, and the blue and the yellow to the warehouse. The guy in concern, Mr. X, he used to sign the bill as receiving at the warehouse. But actually no goods came to Trintop. There was just a signature. And then it was taken over to the payment department, where it was matched up with the company's pink copy, which the guys forced the signature of the managers, and they were paid on that. That is just to show that there's a, a flaw in the system at Trintop. Because if an ordinary material assistant, I should say, could do such thing, then anybody could defraud the company. And this has been going on for the past three, four years. We are treating the matter as one of our priority fraud investigations at this point in time. And we are hopeful that the investigation will be swift and thorough because we are very concerned about the matter. We find that it is being treated um, a bit too quietly, you know. By now, um, some people um, should some people should be um, identified. You have to come real good to charge Mr. X because Mr. X, as I say, is just a receiving clerk. All he does is sign for receiving items. He signs the bill. That is all he does. So they have no serious evidence against Mr. X. Except his signature, I'll sign in, and that, that's his job. He's doing his job. All hopes of bringing the Trintox scam out into the open rest here with the fraud squad. Trintox sources say investigators will need to have a detailed and minute knowledge of the workings of the purchasing department to get anywhere. Meanwhile, the fraud squad is predictably mum on when they expect to reveal the findings of the fraud squad on the Trintox issue. Our own view is that big people are involved in this thing. More on that tomorrow night. Ira Marthu, TV6 News, with a special report. In last night's special report, one Trintock employee with alleged inside knowledge of the fraud revealed just how millions of dollars were embezzled from the company Trintock. The question now is, how did such a major fraud scam go undetected by the company for some three to four years before the fraud squad were brought in? But the company, my senior management level, should investigate the managers at the materials department, at the purchasing department. Because, for instance, if I am a manager, and over for the past three years, I don't know that there have been fraud or there this ordinary mistakes, defrauding, my department over 15 million dollars worth of goods or in money then i shouldn't be there as a manager another probing statement which implicates managers comes from the owtu i do not accept at all that we uh with an absence of systems to detect and to to stop what what, what is taking place my advice to the management is that they must begin to do their jobs. This worker says goods are disappearing from Trintox's material department, which holds an estimated $200 million worth of stock. You see, people at the refinery, up at the refinery, you know, different plants would come down and say, this is a rush job and we need so and so and so. And they don't have any documents saying that they want that. But because of their ranks or their position, they just load it up into a vehicle and they go. These, these goods probably taken from the warehouse 
goes back to a supplier, an oilfield supplier, and then it's supplied back to Trinto. What proof do you have of this? Well, there is proof. There is proof. Everybody knows proof, but uh, as you say, I see, I personally see what has been going on. There are claims of other discrepancies. Our company has been ordering bed mattresses, microwave oven, fridges. I don't know why you could swear, like for a house. These kind of things, we, I want to know what's going on. We don't really order these things. And you see it coming in. A team of investigators, whoever they would be, I don't know, should thoroughly investigate the operations of that company. As a matter of fact, I go so far as to say that all of these companies should now be subject, because of what has been happening, should now be subject to some kind of parliamentary scrutiny. One more question. Why did Trintock employees stay silent in the matter if they knew about it? No more of employees had an idea. But he just wasn't seeing anything because Mr. X was just like them. He was a small fry, I should say, just like them. And he was being ridiculed and frustrated. Hello. And everybody shared in the world. Including you? Well, I refuse to comment on that. Ira Mathur with the TV6 special report on fraud at Trent Talk.